Good morning to all my dear learners. I hope you are safe and fine at your places. And I truly believe that learning progress is very going on right. So welcome dear students in the class of the graduation. This is your part number four. So we are going to deal with the new unit that is unit number 9 and our today's topic is Development of Personality through Sports As I told you earlier what personality exactly means What is personality dear students? Personality refers to the behavior to the conduct to the way of thinking of an individual What exactly is personality if I am going to tell you the kind of definition for me Personality is something which shows the behavior it shows the conduct of a person. Personality is something which tells about what an individual thinks. The state of feeling, behaving, responding things, act or uh, kind of actions to the situation. This all things come to personality. Now the point came how personality is developed through these thoughts. The very first thing is improvement in the physical personality, right? And so sure for you. Personality. So, first thing is improvement. In physical personality. Physical personality. Improvement in physical personality. So, what does that mean? What does I mean? See, uh, when we play sports, whenever we are engaged in any game or do any kind of exercise, one simple thing is that we are engaged in physical workout. Whenever we engage our body, which is kind of machine, in a physical workout, it will help us to lead a healthier and healthier life. Moreover, it helps to exercise each and every muscles so that the nitrogenous waste in the form of sweat removes. We feel energetic, thus it's so simple that for sure the physical personality can be built up through sports and the first operation is the last operation. Let's take an example of two persons. One is endomorphic, it means a huge uh, person who has a lot of fat in their body and lack in a lot of physical fitness. And let us compare the same person with mesomorphic, a person who has slim trim body with good amount of protein abs, broad chest, everything is fine with him. Can you come compare both of this, both of this person? Whenever we go to compare with both of this person, the point came to our mind that for sure, a person who has a good physical fitness index is likely to be, have a good personality, right? And it will uh, give us a motive to lead and serve the best. 
with the positive thoughts and ideas. Improve health status in next point is. So what's the next point? Improve health status. So our next point is about the improvement in the health status. Now how it will improve the health status? It is so simple, student, and I hope you got it, that whenever we engage ourselves into the physical fitness workout, into the uh, kind of exercise which is related to, you know, if I, let's suppose if I'm doing yoga asanas, let's suppose I'm doing vikshasana, let us suppose I'm doing some kind of pranayams, let us suppose I'm doing vikshasana, uh, I'm doing shavasana, I'm doing sushasana, I'm playing football, kogo, any game. I am doing exercise. Exercise is what? Exercise is so simple, giving a kind of mechanism to your body. Let us take an example of a machine like a motorbike. The motorbike is at the home since 10 years and you are not using it properly. Will it start on the one cell or a one kick? No, because in the same kind, our body is also a kind of machine. And the more you take work from it, the more you uh, have the mechanism of it, right, the more it will work. So it is very important that our body, our health should be improved because when we do various kind of physical exercise, our health will be improved. And if your health is improved, if your health status is good, your behavior will be good, your way of thinking, uh, doing things will be good, right? So what happens is that through sports, the health status will be good. Although, the next point is social development, right? What is the next point? The next point is social personality improve. Social personality improve. Now, what I want to tell you dear students is that, how the social personality improves? The social personality will improve definitely when you have a good clinical appearance, you'll get the confidence to speak between people. When you have a good health, you're feeling overall well. If you're feeling overall well, then there will be efficiency, there will be a confidence, and everything comes to your side. Right? So social personality will definitely improve. So through this course, the social personality improves, it means your communication skills, it means the various aspects of life will definitely improve. So social personality will definitely increase. Now the next point is emotional personality improve. For sure, yes. Emotional personality improves. So yeah, it is so true. What is emotions? Emotions like love, hate, jealousy, anger. This is what? This is so simple, emotions. Emotional personality improve. How does emotions will improve? Emotions will improve, let's take an example, just if I'm talking about emotions. So, for sure, it is very important nowadays to have a control over the emotions. We should have a good control over our emotions because nowadays a very, very important thing in our life is to have a control over emotions. If we have a control of our emotions, we can live a balanced life. Okay? So, for sure, if you have a balanced life, balanced emotional life, the personality, that is the emotional personality will be improved and you will not get in the influence of various kinds of people. Right? So, uh, improve psychological balance also. Next point. Improve. Psychological or mental balance. Now how to improve the psychological wellness? Through sports, the psychological wellness improve. See, this, uh, I am just giving you one simple formula. And this formula is that, it depends on you, how you channelize the energy of your body. If you channelize in a positive direction, in a fruitful direction, it will help accordingly. If you channelize that energy in another form, kind of 
and negative things and negative vibrations and doing wrong things, it will act accordingly. So it is very important if you balance your body, if you modify yourself, if you engage your body in doing various physical fitness workout, if you're doing uh, things for your body. See, I'm just saying a very simple thing. Whose body is it? It's your body, it's your organ, it's your heart, it's your lungs, your kidney. Who will take care of it? It's not the work of doctor to take care of it. It's your work, it's your duty, it's your responsibility to take care of lungs, hearts and everything of yours. So you must go for different kinds of exercise for that. Got it? So let's come and let's so uh, let's come and let's understand it for sure. Yes, this personality can be developed through sports. Right? So we have also some different points like uh, improvement in the self-esteem for sure. For yes, you know, self-esteem. What is self-esteem to this? Self-esteem is Atma Samar. Right? So Atma Samar, self-esteem is really uh, totally based on this personality trait. So if your personality is good, if you are interactive, if you are talkative, if you have a good sound mind, if you are if you have a good communication skills, then definitely the self-esteem will improve. If the self-esteem will improve, the confidence level will improve. If the confidence level will improve, the overall efficiency of the body will improve. So yes, the self-esteem, the personality will develop through the sports. The sports play a very, very important role in the life of a person. Moreover, it can relieve from stress and tension. Right? 
Next is the development of creativity. So for short spots develop creativity. Develop creativity. Brings innovation. So what uh, sports do is it brings creativity in people, it brings innovation. When we have a fresh mind, when you have received anything sports, you will feel energetic, the nitrogenous waste in the form of circle will move out. You have a fresh mind, the oxygen capacity, the taking of uh, oxygen capacity is more in you. Your tidal volume is good, your stock volume is good, your cardiac output is good, everything is good with you. So what happens is that you will be creative, you will be so innovative in things, right? Now the last point that I would like to tell you is here about the motivation or kind of moral values, right? So in, uh, it brings moral values, brings moral and social values, moral and social values, social values. So sports definitely bring moral and social values like helping each other, like cooperation, like adjustment, like understand sportsmanship ethics, these various things which happens just because of what? These all things will happen just because of the development of personality through sports. Sports really play a very, very important role in the life of a person. Right? So let's understand about the next term which I told is Motivation. So I just wanted to drop it. Let's come on the next point. Why I used to uh, why I use this clock? It uh, brings less dust, actually it absorbs the dust. If you go through the chapter or surface area Surface chemistry you get to know in chemistry 12. Absorption and adoption. Okay, so uh, before uh, let's move on to the next point motivation. Motivation is a change in the inner earth of a person. Now when I am writing this line, you as motivated students, you just keep your body concentration there and just think upon it. What is motivation? So we can take an example or you must remember many of your teachers motivate you, many of your parents, teachers motivate you to do something good. Now the point came, why they motivate you? So, motivation is one of the most important area of psychology, right? Psychology is something that is related to mind and motivation is also related to that. So, it is very important that, you know, uh, in terms of psychology, motivation play a very, very important role. Motivation has immense effect on learning. If you motivate a person in such a way that he wants to do whatever you want, so motivation will be a very important role. Now the word motivation derives from the two words. Move, okay, uh, move over, which means to change or to move. This motivation refers to the change in inner urge of a person to achieve the goal. So move on to achieve the goal, we can also say. So what we can call to the motivation, change in inner urge of a person or I can say, Move on to achieve the goal. Now you just remember one thing motivation. Is it happening?
happened with you when your parents were delayed you to do something, when the game is on and your coach is just, you know, speaking loudly, hey, you will have to do, you have that capacity, you can do it in this way. The kind of words, right? Okay, so what exactly uh, this things like motivation is all about? It's a change in inner earth of a person. More on to achieve the goal, right? So what is exactly motivation? Motivation means to change in the inner urge of a person. It means to move on to achieve the goal. Motivation is very important. Right? So let's learn the proper definition or what are the things that we needed to know here. So this motivation refers to the inner urge to achieve the goal. Motivation is a kind of inner force which energizes a person to make constant efforts to achieve the goal. Yes, in another words, motivation is a condition which increases the desire to perform better. So when you have a desire to achieve the goal, to do something very good, is what? Is motivation. So motivation is something which helps you to, you know, put a constant effort towards something. According to goods, motivation is a process of arousing, sustaining and regulating the activity. Motivation is an internal factor that arouse that direct, that neglect a person's behavior. If we talk about Crocs theory of motivation, motivation is any condition that might energize and direct our actions. Thus, motivation is a process. Okay, students, what is motivation? It is a process, bache, by which individual is inspired, stimulated, guided, and directed in everyday life. We may use types of motivation like sometime we have some desires, sometime we want better result, sometime we need better performance, wish, aim, urge, etc. So motivation is that process, regulates the behavior of a person, in is extremely complex, difficult to interpret, predict and control. So let's come, we are going to understand the two types of motivation. So yes, motivation is of two types, internal motivation and external motivation, right? So internal motivation is what? This motivation is within an individual that guides individual to perform better, to satisfy one's own personal experience, right? So what is motivation types? Motivation are of two types. So motivation is of two types. First is internal motivation. Internal motivation. Second is external motivation. External motivation. So internal motivation it means related. It is from uh, a person. It is from it is self, right? Internal motivation is self. Let us suppose if I have a watch, I have to do my. Uh, I just take an example. I want to become an IAS officer or an IPS officer. So it is my desire. It is my wish, and I am putting a great efforts to achieve that goal. Let us take an example, I want to become Prime Minister of the country, so I have to put efforts in that case. I am also taking an example that my kiddos understand what I am teaching. So I will be putting my efforts here that somehow may be true, something has it. That is internal. So internal motivation is self serve Okay? So what is internal motivation? Internal motivation is refers to the motivation which is from the self. External motivation. What is external motivation? motivation? External motivation that is done by another people from the materialistic things. Like if I am giving punishment to my students to run three rounds of the ground if you are late in the ground. 
बट दिस माई काइंड ऑफ मोटिवेशन बच्चा सोचेगा कि नेक्स्ट टाइम से मैं टाइम पर ही आऊँगा नेक्स्ट मैंने क्या पॉजिटिव सोचा जब वो तीन राउंड दौड़ेगा उसका हार्ट रेट अच्छा होगा उसकी बॉडी से नाइट्रोजन से स्वेट के फॉर्म में रिलीज होगा उसकी कार्डियो रेस्परेटरी सिस्टम अच्छा होगा उसके लंग्स का फंक्शन अच्छा होगा उसकी लेग मसल्स की स्ट्रेंथ बढ़ेगी राइट ओके सो दैट इज वॉट मोटिवेशन इज एग्जैक्टली अबाउट सो मोटिवेशन इज द चेंज इन द इनर अर्ज ऑफ अ पर्सन इट मे बी इंटर्नल मोटिवेशन मे बी एक्सटर्नल मोटिवेशन नाउ द थिंग इज दैट वट इज इंटर्नल एंड वट इज एक्सटर्नल मोटिवेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू नाउ इंटरनल मोटिवेशन और इंट्रेंसिक मोटिवेशन इंट्रेंसिक और इंटरनल मोटिवेशन दिस मोटिवेशन इज विद इन an individual and guide individual to perform better to satisfy own personal feelings so jab hum hamari khud ki personal feelings ko satisfy karna chahte hain that is internal motivation internal motivation depends upon the basic needs like biological needs thrust hunger social needs like family friends psychological needs like interest attitude love self esteem personal needs like safety personality economical etc it is based upon bodily needs interest nature emotional need social need etc so here we understand that if we talk about inter intrinsic or internal motivation person has to set a goal a person will have to be self appraisal auto suggestion positive attitude and he or she should have some knowledge of things so what are the parts of internal motivation okay let's learn the parts of internal motivation what are the parts in internal motivation if we talk about internal or intrinsic motivation the first thing is to set a goal so if you want to go for internal motivation you need to set a goal so goal setting is the first part goal setting right goal setting is the first part the second thing is self appraisal self appreciation okay third thing is knowledge right so a person if if see internal motivation kya hai jab hum apne aap ko satisfy karne ke liye sochte hain to decide karte hain to do something better that is internal motivation apne aap ko motivate karna तो बी नीड टू बी सेल्फ अप्रेजल अगर हमें कुछ अच्छा काम है तो यस आई हैव डन समथिंग गुड एंड आई एम फीलिंग गुड आपको खुद को फील होगा दैट इज सेल्फ अप्रेशन गोल सेटिंग सो वट इज गोल सेटिंग गोल सेटिंग इज समथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू सेट अ गोल आई हैव दिस मच गोल एंड आई हैव हैव टू स्टेप अप देयर मुझे वहाँ तक जाना है एंड यू हाउ नॉलेज सो वी शुड हैव नॉलेज ऑफ थिंग्स वे वो वी वॉन्ट टू गो टू क्रैक द एग्जाम सो मेन थिंग्स एट वी वॉन्ट टू गो ओके लेट्स एक एग्जाम्पल यू शुड बी सो पॉजिटिव अंटिल एंड अनलेस यू कान डू एन थिंग राइट सो इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड to do something which is very very important to do something in such a way that life and people really uh, know you and uh, people really appreciate you right so we should the last point that i want to tell you an internal motivation is uh, yes the last point that i want to refer to is auto suggestion what is auto suggestion see you see when i am talking about इंटरनल मोटिवेशन मतलब सी हमारे पास पांच चीज़ें हैं जो मैं आपको बताई हैं फर्स्ट है गोल सेटिंग या आई हैव सेट माई गोल दैट आई हैव टू क्रैक नीट और आई हैव टू बिकम अ सी ए सेकेंड सेल्फ अप्रेशन वेन आई एम डूइंग समथिंग गुड मैं अपने आप से बोलूँगा कि यस आई हैव डन समथिंग गुड और मैं सही लाइन में हूँ आई एम ऑन ट्रैक नॉलेज इफ आई एम डूइंग स्टडी आई एम डूइंग दैट थिंग्स इट मीन्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी यस आई शुड हैव सम नॉलेज सो दैट आई कैन क्रैक द एग्जाम positive attitude is very important never ever get negative thoughts in your mind it is very important to have some positive thoughts in our mind 
Auto suggestion. Auto suggestion is one of the most important factor which should be uh, in our side. In we should have this thing. Auto suggestion will tell us that this thing is good, that thing is bad, and it will give us a suggestion. Just sure, uh, if I'm doing something wrong, it will be problematic. So let's learn about the external motivation. What are the things? The very first thing is external motivation is reward. Okay. Sometime I remember when I was when I was having my first year of teaching, I called one of my student on stage. He was so mischievous, and I just called him on stage and just gifted him one pen and I just announced the whole assembly that this student is so good and now never ever will do some kind of bad things and I'm proud of this kind of students. From that day, there is a transformation of that boy. The, everything is changed with him in his behavior in his way to think in so many points. So it is very important to have a external motivation also. Sometimes punishment also work. See, I'm not telling to beat anyone, but for sure, if you give punishment at the right time, and if your student realizes that yeah, he has done something wrong, he'll definitely understand you. So punishment also play a very important role sometimes in motivation, right? Active participation also, if a person is uh, active, so active participation is another point. Active participation. Active participation play a very important role. If you players are participating in sports, in games, you know, there is an active participation. For sure, it is very important for them to have an active participation. So, active participation enhances the motivation. How? Because see, when you are, when a player is having active participation, right? So, people will appreciate it. See, like, like, let us take a simple example of the ball. While playing football, people cheer up. So, like, so up, so up, or like, unkid, unkid, yes, bro, you can do it, and so many kind of words. Active participation leads to what? motivation from the counter side okay it is also based on teaching method teacher people relationship right so external motivation is like a teacher people relationship right next is uh, teacher people relationship and one more point teaching methods Teaching methods, right? So external motivation is based on reward, punishment, active participation, teaching people relationship and teaching methods. The study should be based on student center and teaching people relationship also. Teaching people relationship should be very well, well known, very, very good. Because see when you know your children very well, when you you know uh, when you can you know when you appraise him, when you give something to him, when you understand your children, when the children understand you, it will become so easy for you to understand them, to teach them the right way and they should pursue their life or something kind of, right? So, spectator scout, coaching and guidelines, right? Teamwork, competitions. So, we have some other points, like right? we have another point like teamwork. Why are emphasizing on teamwork? When people work in team, when different people work together, there are a lot of creative ideas, there is a lot of innovations come, it motivates others to yes, if he or she has that much desire to do something, I also can do it. So external motivation helps you. Competition, healthy competition, healthy competition. Right? So now we are talking about healthy competitions. Now which one come? When people compete together, when they are performing something, they are energized. If they can do something, I also can do something. If they have the capacity to do, why I can't? I can also try and I can also do. 
right? So it is very important. Coaching is also important. Coaching and officiating. Coaching is still perfection. Right? So these things are very, really, very important in terms of understanding the children, understanding the children, and we make the people their their life. Right? So this was all about the motivation. Uh, and uh, we can, you know, have all good knowledge of good surroundings. One point that I have missed, hygiene proper surroundings, right? Surrounding should be proper, clean, hygiene, etc. So we have started our session, uh, our students with the various things like about uh, personality development through sports. Then we have started motivation. It's a change in inner type of a person to achieve something, to achieve a goal. Motivation are two types, internal motivation and external motivation. Internal motivation is goal setting, self-operation, knowledge, positive review, or the situation. External motivation is reward, punishment, teaching methods, teacher people relationship, active participation in game sports. We need to have the uh, surrounding, teamwork, health and healthy competition, sports and skills, proper, you know, aesthetic perfection. So this was all about this chapter. This is for both of us enjoy. Thank you so much for the session. We'll meet in the next time for the next lecture with this lots of love and please subscribe. Take care everyone.